Transmission mounts fasten a vehicle's transmission to the chassis similarly to how motor mounts do the same for the engine. Additionally, they ensure that the linkage and drive shaft angles are correct and control and isolate any vibration coming from the driveline of a vehicle. A typical transmission mount has a rubber or urethane bushing that is fastened to a bracket using bolts, welding, or adhesive. The entire element is fastened to the car. Most cars have one or two transmission mounts, though occasionally there are more. Early detection of a bad transmission mount is essential for preventing further harm. In this brief video, we'll discuss the typical symptoms to look out for, the specific causes of transmission mount failure, and how much the issue will cost to fix. It's Max the Car Guy. Subscribe and let's get started. Symptoms. These mounts are available in a variety of sizes and styles. However, they all serve the same function. To handle the torque produced by the engine, they are constructed of sturdy metal and rubber. You can tell if there is a problem because of how much the rubber dampens the vibrations. Here are five typical symptoms to look out for. Thumping. This sound will be audible more when you are traveling over a bump. It can also be brought on by driving while changing the transmission. Although the movement is more up and down than side to side, it is still very dangerous. It might be risky to take a sharp turn if the connections have become so loose. Plunking and banging sounds. A loose transmission mount noise is an example of a noise that sounds like your engine is trying to escape. Metal slamming into metal is what causes the clunking. It changes position as the engine moves. When the mounts are in good condition, they firmly anchor everything. They are no longer able to hold it firmly as they give out. It's unlikely that your transmission will fail, but driving the vehicle is not an option. Other crucial internal components may become damaged due to the shifting transmission's weight. Although there won't be as much noise as there would be from the engine, you can still expect some loud clanking sounds if a rear transmission mount fails. Excessive vibrations. You need to get it fixed if the car is shaking your actual teeth out of their sockets. If the engine vibrations are not properly controlled, they can get very strong. It won't just make passengers uncomfortable, the driver will also become distracted. Difficulty cornering. There isn't a simple way to explain this symptom, but a loose engine will shift as the car moves. For instance, the engine may shift to the right if you turn left, which would result in an unbalanced load. It might be more difficult to exit that turn due to the engine's momentum, and this symptom is easy to identify. You'll see how the car is affected by this inertial force. Additionally, there will probably be some amusing noises coming from the engine. This issue will be especially noticeable when turning or accelerating. Although there should only be one noticeable shift when driving down a hill, it might still be noticeable in that situation. Chassis flex. It could take some time for it to develop. By the time this has occurred, we'd be surprised if you haven't noticed that something is off. The car frame may flex as a result of weight changes. Due to this, the frame may eventually sag and the doors may no longer be perfectly aligned as they once were. Causes. Wear and tear. Transmission mounts degrade with time and mileage, just like all other parts. Over time, the polyurethane or rubber that cushions the mount deteriorates. The material fails as it loses elasticity, allowing excessive engine movement and associated issues. These mounts are particularly vulnerable to the cumulative effects of vibration, force, and time on high mileage vehicles, eventually necessitating replacement. As cars travel for years and miles, worn transmission mounts are a common maintenance issue. Improper installation. Transmission mount failure is accelerated by improper installation or adjusting. The mount is vulnerable to early deterioration if mechanics don't properly secure or align it during transmission work. To ensure that parts like mounts are correctly replaced and calibrated, transmission maintenance should only be performed by qualified technicians. Minor errors made while performing service can compromise the mount and cause it to wear out too quickly. Accidents or impact. Accidents or collisions may also cause a transmission mount to become damaged. The mount's structural integrity could be compromised by the impact, leading to a crack or complete break. This damage allows for excessive engine movement and vibration, similar to a worn-out mount. The forces of an accident can damage components like motor and transmission mounts even in the absence of obvious exterior damage. In order to prevent further problems, it is therefore a good idea to inspect the transmission mount after any significant impact. Corrosion. Transmission mounts are susceptible to corrosion in areas with harsh weather, such as those with a lot of snowfall or salt exposure. When exposed to such conditions over time, the metal parts may oxidize and degrade. The structural integrity of the mount is gradually weakened by this corrosion, possibly leading to failure. Vehicles driven in snowy, salty environments need to be vigilant against rust to keep their transmission mounts functioning. Corrosion is one of the main causes of mount degradation because harsh winters and frequent salt contact accelerate wear and tear. Manufacturing defects. Though rare, manufacturing flaws can occasionally lead to the premature failure of a transmission mount. Despite quality control, a flaw in the materials or assembly could still sneak through, endangering the longevity of the mount. Even though it is a rare occurrence, it should still be taken into account when diagnosing early mount deterioration. 
Aftermarket mounts of poor quality are frequently to blame for defects. Even though their lower price may be appealing, many aftermarket brands don't produce their products with the same exacting tolerances as OEM parts. Replacement cost. The price will vary according to the mount's brand and car model. For parts, expect to pay between $50 and $150 per mount. Due to the difficulty of accessing a transmission mount, labor cost for the work to be done should range from $200 to $450. The task is typically significant. You're fine if the mounts are simple to get to. If not, extensive interior component removal will be necessary to locate the issue, which takes time. Get labor estimates from your mechanic and a few other independent shops. This is recommended. The total cost of replacing the transmission mount will be between $250 and $600. A different option to think about is replacing all the mounts at once. It might be more effective given the size of the task. The mounts should last roughly the same amount of time, so if one needs to be replaced because of wear and tear, the others won't take much longer. Add some money to your budget for towing since you shouldn't attempt to drive your car in this situation. Before the car is taken in for repairs, you won't know the full extent of the damage. Wait until your mechanic has examined the vehicle before asking for more information because the loose transmission might have damaged another component of it. Hope the information was useful for you. If so, please press the like button and subscribe to the channel.